all of you welcome back to yet another video in this video we'll try to understand that what are the steps what are the tools what are the topics you have to cover if you want to master DeFi development i already made a complete tutorial on a complete roadmap of a DeFi developer which i will link in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that but in this video i'll give you a quick overview on those important topics which you have to focus if you really want to see yourself as a DeFi developer in the future so the very first thing i would suggest you try to pick a particular blockchain here i would suggest you ethereum try to understand that how ethereum ecosystem work how the contract interaction work how you can deploy the contract how you can run the contract how you're going to call the contract for getting the data how you can make an external call from that particular contract so you have to understand the entire ethereum ecosystem and its contract execution so once you master that after that you have to move to the second step and you have to learn about the wallets private key, public key, how are you going to manage those key when you're going to build a specific type of application. So if you're going to build a, like a trading bot where you're going to allow user to do the trade of a specific token on the base of the price fluctuation. So like the user can set the price and if it's hit that particular price, the token is going to be sold or maybe it's going to put for a sale, that kind of thing. So when you're going to work on these type of application, you have to know that how you have to manage the keys because that one is very important. And if you lose that key, <laughs> you lose everything your entire business will fail so you have to know that how you're going to manage the wallets how you're going to provide higher security so you have to understand about the wallet and its privacy and the public key so first ethereum after that you have to learn about the wallet after that i would suggest you to learn about http protocol or rpc url because at some point you're going to deal with the data you're going to fetch the information from the blockchain about a specific token and you're going to display in the front end so the user can have a visual representation of the data so he can pick and do the transaction so you have to know that how rpc url work how you can connect your application with the blockchain so learn about that particular protocol because we have multiple way http rpc or web sockets so you have to understand that and the fourth thing i have in the list is the framework so right now we have multiple framework for writing a smart contract if you talk about ganache or hard hat or foundry so you can pick any one but try to get yourself comfortable with this because when you're going to build a smart contract you have to fork the network and you're going to test those contract and do the internal transaction so you have to know that how this framework work and how this entire ecosystem provides you a better ecosystem which you can use it to build a scalable application so you have to be very good with this framework because you're going to use very frequently if you're going to work in a DeFi space because all the testing all the connection that's all you're going to do including in this framework so you have to be familiar with this framework after that i would recommend you to try to be get familiar with the uh, ipfs because somehow at some point you have to store some of the data and it's a decentralized platform so you're going to use ipfs for storing some sort of information about your clients or maybe some sort of pricings which you want to store or maybe you want to keep the history of the token pricing in your ipfs so you can do that so learn about the ipfs as well once you're done with the IPFS, now comes the important part. And after that, you have to learn about the use case of DeFi. Whatever technology, whatever tools, whatever software, whatever information we have gathered so far, that's all will build our foundation to get into the field of DeFi development. First, you have to understand about the implementation of DeFi, that where we can utilize in implementation, there are a few things which you have to understand. First one is lending, that how you can utilize the lending model on the blockchain. The second one is farming, how it exactly work. Then we have the stable coin, which is equivalent to the dollar, or you can set any pricing to any specific currency. It's totally up to you as a developer. So learn about the stable coin, then we have NFT. So you have to learn about these model, that what are the implementation we have in the DeFi. Once you're done with that, after that, you have to move to the technical part. In the technical part, you have to master a few things. The first thing I would recommend you to understand that how decentralized exchange function, how they make money, what kind of feature they provide. And from there, they get exactly the data which they reflect in their DAP. So understand about the decentralized exchange and their entire business model. After that, understand the side change, that what are the side chains we have and how we can utilize it. What is the difference between the side chains and the actual Ethereum chain? So understand the difference between that. After that, you have to master the different layers. So we have layer one, layer two, what are they? And what kind of facilities it bring to the DAP? So you have to understand the difference between layer one blockchain, layer two blockchain, Solana, all of things. Try to understand. These are the important topics which you have to master. Again, I have covered everything in detail from start to end, which you have to follow if you really want to master DeFi development. So make sure to check that video and that I've explained everything. But these are the important topics which you have to know if you really want to be very good at DeFi development, because these are absolutely mandatory for you to master. If you don't know what is the implementation of DeFi, in what area we can utilize it, you can never be a good DeFi developer. You can never be able to solve a real world problem. The lending is one of the biggest industry we have in the world right now. 
lending. We have seen that we have so many lending company. So how are you going to use this lending model on the blockchains, which can facilitate the user to lend money and you can build that kind of system. So understand how lending work, how farming work, how stable coin works. Stable coin is really very powerful because when we want to receive any foreign money, I definitely use stable coin, mainly USDT. So you have to know how it exactly work and how you can able to build one. So these are the important topics that you have to master if you really want to be master in DeFi development. I hope you guys have got your answer. I was getting this question very frequently. So I thought let's make a video to all of you guys. And if you guys haven't built the 30 project we have on the channel, like we have built a lot of DeFi projects. So make sure to build that. Once you master that, it will save a lot of your time and it will give you a very good understanding that how you can interact with the existing contract, which is already deployed on the chain for getting the information or making the call for providing the swap, all of things. So make sure to check all of the projects we have on the channel. That will give you a better idea and it will help you to learn the thing faster. So I hope you guys have got an idea. If you still have any question, any doubt, you can let me know in the comment section. So I definitely help you with that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.